have a lot of questions about monitoring and mixing and loudness and dynamics and a compressor and why do you compress and how loud should loud be and and how to get it loud as the commercial uh, mixes and and I'll tell you this right now you can't get anywhere as far as loudness is concerned unless you have a reference level unless you know what other people uh, in other studios, in professional studios, what levels they are listening to the music on in their studios. So if you have, if you're using the same listening level, the same mixing level in your studio as they are in their studio, then when you compress, when you use a compressor or when you use a certain level on your fader uh, here on your uh, st your home studio, um, it will have the same effect on their studio um, in, uh, or for someone else. And, and so not only is it good for translation uh, between studios, but it helps you to be able to determine um, why. You know, you don't, you're you not just going to put a compressor on a, uh, a channel anymore. You're going to know why you're putting it on there and you're going to know how much louder you're trying to make it or what type of effect you're trying to go for. Something tells me that you at home are either monitoring too loud or too soft and uh, you'll, you'll discover this for yourself. Now my, my studio here at home is probably different than yours so you'll have to make some um, uh, changes for your setup. I'm going to go over my setup uh, and a few um, theory, points of theory and uh, and then during this first segment, and then I'm going to do a segment after um, with just the calibration levels. Um, we are going to be following uh, the procedure as outlined by Bob Katz in his book Mastering Audio. Um, in chapter 15, uh, he has a, ch a chapter about how to make better recordings in the 21st century and it talks all about levels and the loudness wars and how loud recordings used to be versus how loud they are now. This is something we've all been familiar with and it's a problem that we run into as um, home studio recording artists because um, again, how loud do you want to make it? Uh, so uh, this is using a metering system called the K metering system um, and I'll show you uh, one of the color slides here of the K-meters in just a second. 